August the 24th. Looking into Cook's Bay Marina at quarter to 12, you see the minnows are jumping. There are a lot of minnows in Cook's Bay Marina right now. Mark, this fella took us on YouTube when we stopped through the ice. Oh, yeah. Way back Hi. when, he wants to do it again. So I, Great. I figured uh, you know all the facts on this sort of stuff. So, so. You give me a quick rundown what's going on? <laughs> so this is the 2012 uh, Lake Simcoe Muscalunge Restoration Project uh, at Fleming College. We've uh, raised um, approximately um, 2,400 uh, fall fingerling muscalunge to be stocked into Lake Simcoe. I'm ringing. And, uh, <laughs> The, um, today we've got uh, approximately 630 that we're taking out here in Cooks Bay to, uh, to stock down here and hopefully uh, re-establish uh, a natural uh, reproducing population of muskie in, in Lake Simcoe. All right, thanks a lot. Let's get to work. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead. Okay, well, I'll, I'll, uh, hopefully the motor will start. So I'll just go through the safety, safety briefing. Um, when we, anybody have any questions on the safety in the boating? This water's cold, so we don't want to go overboard. When we're releasing these, I like to release them uh, um, in batches of four or five, and about 10 meters apart, and keep on moving slowly, uh, you know, just to get them well distributed. For fish, each four or five fish, I'd yeah. go yeah, seven to 10 meters seven or so. Seven to 10 meters, yeah, yeah spread it yeah. all the way along. So yeah. They've got lots of pencil reeds okay. all Yeah, the way lots down. of pencil reeds. Yeah. Um, you know, best to try mm. to get them as, yeah. as much into the reeds yeah. as possible yeah. so that they have a bit of... Um, Good. Um, yeah security there when they're first put in the water. It's going to be really interesting to see how they react if they go for cover because that's what Mark's been doing, he's naturalizing these so hopefully this is the key time when they are really adapting quickly. The survival is really important on that first 24 hours really of acclimating and getting used to the environment so if, uh, if they do react well to going into cover naturally I don't see any herring gulls around, but they sort of home in on pretty quickly. Yeah, there's some gulls that <laughs> find out show what, up when what's they going see on. Us. Yeah. Launching a uh, boat right now, and they're taking a bunch of muskie uh, out to be uh, stocked into Lake Simcoe. Taking them out of Cooks Bay Marina, out into the Cooks Bay to launch and restock muskies. All right, there they go. Here I'm Ministry of Natural Resources. Inside of this, you can see the muskies. All right, just show me the muskies inside. And you're from Sir Francis? Sir, uh, Sir Sanford Fleming? Yeah. And Lindsay? Yeah, Lindsay, right. All right, thanks a lot. A couple of larger ones there. They're in the. They're about a year old. Truck. There's a second batch of muskies going out to be stocked Cooks Bay, leaving Cooks Bay Marina. Just about 12:30 Wednesday, October the 24th. You can see that there's a lot of minnows in the marina right now. If you look in the water, you can see lots and lots of minnows, shiners, emerald shiners in the water. So what was your reaction on when you put them in the water? What happened? Um, put them really close to the weeds. They were reacting pretty good. They were uh, uh, going right into the weeds, but yeah, if you put them out a little ways, they seem to be a lot more docile. Right. So. Yeah, I think the key is to get them right into there, get right, right into the in. cover. Yeah. All right, thanks. 400 total, 2,400 from Fleming College, and uh, 1,000 from um, Blue Jay Creek uh, Fish Culture Station right. up in Manitoba. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's all going to Cooks Bay. All, uh, not all those numbers, all around Lake Simcoe. All around Cooks Bay. Barnstable Bay, uh, Cooks Bay, the Talbot Outlet. Morning Glory Swamp, south side of Georgina Island. So all around the lake. All around the lake. Nice. All right, thanks. Yep. 
There they go. Another shift. Muskie's going out into Cook's Bay from Cook's Bay Marina. Hi, Will. How are you? Excellent. Good to see you again. So we're out on uh, Lake Simcoe, Cook's Bay today. Uh, we had students from uh, Fleming out. They're uh, helping us stock some muskie. So it's part of the Lake Simcoe Muskie Restoration Project where for the last five years we've been stocking muskie back into Lake Simcoe trying to uh, re-establish a native population of self-sustaining muskie. So the hatchery has been uh, great at uh, uh, at Fleming to uh, rear the muskie for us and uh, right now we've put in about 700 muskie into uh, Cook's Bay. So we've been doing this for the last couple of weeks, different locations around Lake Simcoe in the hopes that one day we'll establish a wonderful recreational fishery again for anglers. Alright, thank you very much. All right, thanks. Welcome. Last crew coming in. Here they are, they finished up. You did a good job guys. Thanks a lot. All right.